Well, it happens. Sometimes in labs you're gonna make a mistake. I'm a teacher, I've done this lab a whole bunch of times, and you know what? I make mistakes too. So I wanted to show you the complete, um, I wanted to show you the complete process of redoing this one. As you can see, hopefully this balloon should be bigger than this, right? Because it about doubled. So two Alka-Seltzer tablets are in here. Just gonna crush this to make sure there's not really that much chunks in there. Um, the nine milliliters of water is already back into the flask. And this time I grabbed a funnel to help me not spill, which I should have done the first time. And to be honest with you, I just wasn't thinking very well. And again, that's the really cool part about maybe you know, doing this lab with the video. One of the things we don't get to do a lot is redo the lab. You're gonna make mistakes. And the cool thing is being able to learn from those mistakes and to fix them. Here is a great opportunity of that. If we were in class, we might not have time to do that and we might just have to talk about it in our data. So, cleaning off pestle, I have my two Alka-Seltzer tablets. This should go much quicker now. I got it all in. Two balloon. Hoping the two is facing towards you. If not, I'm sorry. And you can see that's much quicker already. Definitely should have had this the first time. But you live and learn, and that's okay. It's definitely already bigger. See how high the bubbles are getting on this one. And that's it done correctly. Again, maybe it was a really good thing that I messed up that, for, uh, that first time because now we get to see the best part about science, going back and making changes. I'm gonna tie these balloons up after this goes to completion and we'll do the measurements in the next video.